Well, hello there and welcome back. If you are new to this channel, Total OS today is total technology for beginners because we all start somewhere. All right, so hopefully you know by now that Windows XP is set to retire as of this recording next week, April 8th. And I strongly recommend that you do not run Windows XP past the expiration date. Now you have several choices. Okay, you can stop using your machine. Uh, you can upgrade to Windows 7 or Windows 8 if your machine is capable of it. Uh, you can buy a new computer or maybe you can buy a new tablet. That depends, of course, what your preference is. But for this tutorial, we're going to take a look at switching from the old XP to a new alternative operating system that you may have heard of, and that would be Ubuntu Linux. Now, to keep this simple, I'm going to split this into three separate parts. So for tonight, for this recording, we will take a look at which version to download. Maybe in a couple days, we'll take a look on how to install. And finally, before April 8 hits, I will show you how to navigate through your fresh, brand new Ubuntu Linux operating system. But first, go to ubuntu.com go to desktop which I already have click get Ubuntu now now from here you have several options you can choose to go with the previous what's called an LTS the long-term support release which was Ubuntu 12.04 as of this recording this will be supported up to uh, April 2017 if you want the latest cutting-edge Ubuntu with the latest features you can choose Ubuntu 13.10 these releases here, this specific release is supported for nine, nine months. I believe this one is actually set to expire sometime this summer. Now these are a couple of choices here, but there is, as of this recording, there is one called 14.04 uh, Trusty Tar that is coming out at the end of this month. That would be the latest LTS release. Now to download that one, for the purpose of this demonstration, you will need to go to cdimageubuntu.com. I will have the links below in the show notes for all of this, by the way. We will click Daily Live. Go to Current, because it says here, latest images to have passed any automatic testing, try this first. Now this is still a beta, which is, means it's not quite the final release. As a general rule, I don't recommend alphas or betas. However, up until my testing laptop broke uh, through no fault of Ubuntu, uh, this was running quite stable. I was very surprised. Now, there were still some bugs popping up here and there. However, uh, from the testing that I was able to do before my laptop went, you know, went to trash, the bugs that I saw were not that critical, at least none that I can recall. So, since this is almost a final, I, I believe this is the final beta and not the final release, but that should be coming up, uh, should be coming up soon here in a couple of weeks. We will download this because I do feel comfortable enough that it should be stable enough for you to, you know, download, download, install, and run. Now, I'm going to assume you have an older machine. It's running, it's a 32-bit processor and not a 64-bit. If if you are, if you know for sure it is a 64-bit, go right ahead. You can download the 64 here. I already downloaded the 32-bit, which is an i, uh, yeah, i386. I already downloaded that. Now, once you download that, you'll have to test the download the file to make sure it is not corrupted. If it is corrupted, do not proceed. Do not install. You will run into issues. There is a free utility for Windows. It is called WinMD5 Free. So install that if you haven't already. Now, I did install WinMD5. I did the download. I tested the ISO file and it gave me this checksum value here. Now, if you have no idea what you know a checksum is or an, or an MD5, don't worry about it. Just think of this as a verification code. Okay, this code has to match the code given to you by Ubuntu. 
So you may ask, where can you get that code? Well, if you go back here, and we shall scroll up to where it says MD5 sums. And remember, I, I downloaded why I, what I assume you would need the 32-bit, the I386. It has this code here. Copied, pasted here. Okay, verify. And it matches. Now, this took, this may take, I mean, this will depend on, on the speed of your processor. This may take 30 seconds, 60 seconds for this to come up with the initial code. That's normal. Once you have that there, you paste in the one from the website, click verify, and you should be good to go in terms of part one of this. Once again, if these values do not match, do not proceed. All right, finally, for if for some reason you really changed your mind, you, you don't want to do this, and maybe you are considering buying a laptop, maybe you saw Windows 8, don't like it. If you go to the site, to my site here, I will have a links below in the show notes. You can just click uh, Windows 7 uh, laptops here, and this will give you some options in terms of buying an updated laptop if you are in the market for a new machine. Out of all these here, these are all good. I recommend uh, Lenovo's as far as laptop goes. Is, to me, those are the best of, of the best in terms of durability, at least they used to be. So take a look at that if you are looking to buy a new machine. Other than that, go to the Ubuntu website, get some information here to get started, go to the CD image website, download the appropriate ISO file, check for verification the integrity of the file, and next time I will show you how to install it by creating a bootable USB stick. All right, that's it for this. Check below in the show notes for all of the appropriate links. Please don't forget to subscribe, and if you can't support the channel for future content, I will have links below in the show notes where you can donate. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for four years of Total West Today. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.